What will William do to punish the Sussex ruler for continuing to use Netflix to smear royal family? Their cheesy attempt to get on TV. William's face was hot when the Sussexes considered Netflix really performing. Welcome to the Royal Family News Update Station. As the future King of Britain, Prince William is already plotting revenge against his loose-lipped younger brother, Prince Harry. After learning that Netflix is courting him and his wife Meghan for a Keeping Up with the Sussex reality series, has caused a fresh wave of disgust among Britain's royals. The Prince of Wales, according to Courtier's revelations, is fuming over his brother's revelations in his memoir Spare and the documentary series Harry Meghan and wants to get even. An insider has revealed, William thinks the only right move at this point is to strip the Sussexes of their Duke and Duchess titles then turn the whole matter over to the lawyers and be formally done with them. It has been whispered that Prince William and Princess Kate are preparing for the worst from the royal runaways who abandoned their palace duties in 2021. If the California couple became regulars on a reality show, sources say the royal family wouldn't be surprised. According to an insider spill, Netflix brass feels a reality show would be a rating bonanza, and Harry and Meghan owe them big time. The suits at Netflix didn't realize how much was left unsaid in the documentary until they read excerpts from Harry's book. They'd like to see the couple open up their home, their lives, and their hearts to the cameras, Harry wrote. An insider has revealed, however, that Harry and the ex-suits beauty are reluctant to make the switch out of fear of looking tacky, despite desperately needing the move and the insane salary it would bring. However, it's an option nonetheless, and a powerful one to have up their sleeve if and when they need it, the source explains. William isn't going to let this go, the insider says. He feels betrayed, and he does not think Harry's actions are appropriate for a duke. Of course, I've already established that I am not a huge Harry Potter fan, and what I have to say is merely my educated guess, presented without equivocation, with the understanding that it won't amount to much in the grand scheme of things. Surely I am nothing more than a lone wolf crying out in the woods. The same goes for you, huh? If you can hear my howl and answer back in lupine kind, that means we have communicated and are indeed brothers, members of the Los Lobos pack who can bay across great distances in the dark of night. But there are predators in the area looking for a hide to use as a deterrent, a bullying warning to other wolves to back off. Somebody has been following me. Where do you s- I am about to howl a tune from the edge of the forest, and if I am lucky, I'll hear some rifle reports from way out in the hinterlands, reverberating among the timbers, and maybe even some bark and wood splinters. How well do you think he can be understood in light of the James Hewitt link? Do you think Diana's spoiling him too much is the reason for his behavior? To what extent do you believe his drug and alcohol use explain his behavior? So, you're saying that his behavior is understandable given the impact that his mother's death at age 12 had on him? Do you think the Spencer's history of upsetting the royal family provides some insight into his personality? Let me howl a bit further, if you please. Although I lack training in obstetrics and am not a neurosurgeon, I believe that the possibility that Harry was born defective has been overlooked. In the womb, Harry's mother was fighting a battle with bulimia, as you may recall. Maybe the fetus was impacted by the mother's bulimia. Truthfully, we have no idea. We lack sufficient evidence to conclude that the stunted development of his fetal brain due to Diana's bulimia is the direct cause of his problematic behavior in adulthood. He may have had his neurological development halted, or he may have been deeply imprinted with the feelings and mental anguish that sent Diana stumbling over a toilet bowl and vomiting. I am sorry to have been so insensitive and insensitive in drawing your attention to Diana's bulimic and emotionally distraught state. We should nt try to gloss over the situation. The mother to mental bees and emotional health were not great when she was pregnant with Harry. Here come some rifle reports. Oh no. I can't believe I dared to question Diana's character. How dare I insult her memory and the Spencer family name. The gall of me to accidentally chip some paint off her holy Madonna statue. I have no right to desecrate her grave by placing a chicken carcass there. To avoid the proverbial pot calling the kettle black, Harry has done her no favors. Not to mention what he's revealed in his fictitious memoir, Spare, he's pimped out his mom for money in various business ventures and tell-all interviews.
and he has given us the whole truth, as promised in the subtitle. In my opinion, he has done more harm to his mother's memory and legacy than any journalists or the media, press that Harry denounces and disparages at every turn, and yet the dimbulb in him doesn't see his own hypocrisy in using the media as a platform for conveying his truth. With that disclaimer in place, I release any responsibility I may have had. Even if it devalues Diana's sainted, do no wrong image and stature, it is something to consider and not to dismiss as rubbish. Despite her best efforts to deny it, the fact remains that she had bulimia while she was carrying Harry. Does this mean that Harry finally deserves some pity, even if it's only a little? Perhaps. When he was sheltered by his family, the royals, he had it in spades, the safety net of payoffs for guaranteed silence and cover-ups, stifling press reports of scandals and errant daring do. In reality, his own family is aware of his character, down to the kitchen details, the nauseating, chopped-up messes, and the blood on the cutting board. It's likely that many others have continued his work without our knowledge. And the things we have heard so far are only the beginning. Worrying clues point to the fact that there is a great deal more to this story than we currently understand. Despite this, Haz puffs out his chest and threatens to reveal more of his truth. His book gave away far more information than was necessary or appropriate. The book has not helped him emerge from the obscurity into which he has fallen thanks to its publication. Even the seagulls are staying clear, with the exception of the occasional turd bomb dropped on his shoulder. His loved ones have tried everything to free him from the crab claws that have entrapped him, but they can't bring themselves to believe that they will succeed. This is a truly tragic circumstance. I mean, really, why do you howl like that? Whatever the case may be, Harry and his loved ones are left wondering what they can do now. As his actions have shown, Harry lacks the capacity for self-awareness and introspection typical of even a child with a below-average IQ and a limited capacity for moral reasoning. As a result, they have no morals and are incapable of feeling sorrow or sympathy for others. It's a tragic turn of events for Harry and his whole family. How about you? In your opinion, what do you think of Meghan and Harry? Tell me what you think in the comments, and we'll discuss this couple further. Feel free to like and share my video whenever you find it useful, especially with your adoring family members. The subscribe button will ensure you never miss a story involving royal family news update. Now, I'd like to say thank you for watching, hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.